Hello, I'm Graham Duye, founder of InLight Radio and host of the radio program, Our Galactic Family. As many of you know already, we are not alone in the universe. I know my galactic family is here in our skies as I speak to you now, as do my colleagues who will be sharing their stories with you shortly. In fact, we are all part of the same galactic family. You, me, our families, friends, neighbors, and colleagues, and those who have been and continue to appear in our skies. Our star brothers and sisters have been with us since the beginning of time, and they've been visiting with us regularly, every day. We see them in our skies, we hear stories of others who have seen them, we have even seen them ourselves. You probably have too, some of you, without your even knowing it. And if you haven't, then you're probably like the vast majority of people across the world, you believe they're here and that we're not alone. I know that many of them look just like you and me and they come here to help us and they come in peace. They care about the earth, they care about us, all beings. How do I know this? Because if they weren't here in peace, they wouldn't have simply been appearing in our skies for so long and doing nothing to harm us, would they? They are peaceful, evolved spiritual beings and want to share their knowledge and technologies to help us heal our planet and help all beings thrive. And we need the help. When I see them in our skies and ask, why haven't our governments and other world leaders simply admitted to their existence? What do they have to hide? Well, they would lose their power and control over us. And so would all our religions and religious leaders. They have not shared or told us the truth. Well, I say I don't need to wait for my government or religion to announce or disclose anything. Disclosure is about announcing the presence of our star brothers and sisters, and I am making my own personal disclosure today, right here, right now. I've seen the videos from people all over the world. I've seen the photos. I've even seen the starships, lightships, spacecraft, whatever you choose to call them, in the skies myself. And I'm so excited to meet them in person and join together with them as we help this planet and ourselves to have a better life and future. I know my galactic family is here and so do all the people you're about to hear from. So join us as we announce to the world what is known as disclosure of our galactic family. Я знаю, что моя галактическая семья уже здесь. А вы? Я знаю, что моя галактическая семья Hi, I'm Steve Becko. I'm a former member of the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada. I know that our galactic family is here, and I know they're here to help us achieve a wonderful future. They look like us. They're human like us. In fact, they're the people, and yes, I did say people, who seeded the earth with the human race in the first place. We're descended from human populations of far distant planets. They've been here protecting us. They've been visiting the Earth for millennia. But they prefer to remain in the background so as not to interfere with our free will. And now they're here again to help us achieve a global shift in consciousness due on or before December 21st, 2012. Many people say that we face the end of the world. No, the world is not going to end. There isn't going to be an Armageddon for this planet. No predatory species is going to invade us. If our star brothers and sisters had wanted to take over this planet, they could have done it long, long ago. Instead, what we can expect from them and with their assistance is global peace, worldwide prosperity, and human unity in a new age for humanity. I welcome such a planet. I know our star brothers and sisters are here, and I know they're here to help us achieve a wonderful future. Galaktik alemin burada olduğunu biliyorum. Ya siz? Ako, alam ko na nandito na ang ating mga kapamilya na nanggagaling pa sa kalawakan. Ikaw, alam mo? Hi, my name is Dave Schmidt. I'm a former senator in Washington State where I'd spent 20 years of my life in politics with the last 12 years in the Washington legislature. But prior to that, I had spent 13 years of my life in church ministry. I have a bachelor's degree in religion and a master's degree in biblical studies. And with that background, I can obviously speak to the issues of the influence that both religion and government has in our lives. The question that we want to ask ourselves is why? Why have we not had more information from our religious and government leaders regarding our galactic family? Why have we been kept in the dark? All across this planet are people of influence who enjoy being in power. 
They hold this power, this control, over the billions of us in every single country across the world. So the biggest influence in our lives comes from those who can influence our beliefs, those who can influence our perceptions of what is real. And the greatest of those comes from our government and our religious leaders. We put our trust in them to guide our daily lives, yet they attempt to keep us in fear and in ignorance and in the dark. The disclosure of our galactic family's presence ends a period of secrecy that goes back to at least 1947, if not earlier. The practice of denying UFOs or spaceships presence has been a policy followed by most governments for various reasons. Some of them are laudable, but the reality is most of them are not. Like you, I've been exposed to the false belief systems that come from our church and government leaders, and it's their desire to keep us ignorant to what is real. And should it be exposed that we're not alone in this universe, and that our galactic family is very real and loving and caring beings, then all of our leaders would end up losing their power. They would be exposed as criminals and liars, and they would lose all credibility. So it's been in their own personal best interest to keep us in the dark. But you want to know what? All that is beginning to change. Look at all the people around the world that are beginning to stand up and declare what they know to be true. Our galactic family has just been waiting for us to stand up and become our own leaders, to wake up and say what it is that we want, to claim our sovereignty as a human race, and to collectively declare ourselves free from the decades of deception. We'll no longer be held in the dark. It's now time for us to declare our freedom and to let everyone know that we are no longer alone in this great, big, wonderful universe. It's time for us to stand up and say, we know our galactic family is here. Ich weiß, dass unsere galaktische Familie hier ist. Wisst ihr es auch? Mujhe malum hai meri galactic family yahan par hai. Kya aapko malum hai? Greetings and blessings. My name is Jeffrey West. Global leaders have demonstrated their choices now that they are not interested in the health of our planet nor in humanity. In fact, it's the very opposite. However, an opportunity for true peace, health and abundance is upon us. Peace flows from having a conscious loving relation with all things physical, non-physical, visible and invisible because scientifically, energetically and spiritually we are all one. The good galactic family members could have removed leaders and militaries worldwide, but to do so would have been in violation of their laws and standards of conduct. The fact that they do not impose their will upon others is one reason why it has taken so long for this announcement to occur. However, another reason is because humanity has allowed its own enslavement, while also neglecting our planet as a sentient, energetic living entity. It is now the choice of all people of the world to determine how we move forward as a new galactic star nation, opening the doors to our forgotten and separated star families. Cosmic Vision News is currently the only news program making disclosure official, bringing disclosure-related news to the people of the world. This will continue at least until the mainstream journalists begin serving humanity and our planet with a more ethical and loving courage that is being asked of them at this time. With joy, with gratitude, and with love, I say, I officially say welcome to our galactic families as together we serve humanity and our planet. Yo sé que mi familia galáctica está aquí. ¿Lo sabes tú? Kim Galactica Kanantani Karai Sperai. Yes, he's two. Hi there. My name is Linda Dillon, and I have known of the existence of our galactic family for much of my life. I should know, as I spend a great deal of time on board ship, or light ships as I call them. I'm one of the lucky ones. I know our galactic family. I know these beings to be kind, intelligent, generous, and peaceful. Most people are unaware of the incredible contributions our star brothers and sisters have made to our planet. Huge technological advances, tools and devices we are currently using have either been gifted to us or back-engineered by our galactic family. They have introduced technologies that have contributed to our well-being, to the building of community and to the healing of Gaia. 
Examples of their gifts are found in every area of society. The silicon chip for the computer, the internet, which is based on the universal internet, green building technology for construction, fiber optics, Teflon, Kevlar, the list is lengthy. And while we're at it, let's not forget free energy devices. They are here to help us with our evolution and to gift us the technologies that they have had available to them in their evolution. Sometimes they even protect ourselves. More recently, the friendly galactics have been assisting Gaia in removing most of the depleted uranium and other forms of radioactivity from the air, mitigating the effects of disasters like the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. There are loads of YouTube videos on this subject, so just have a look. They're also helping us to clean up our polluted waters. Our galactic family are peaceful and loving, helping where permitted, never interfering with our free will. That is why they have not pushed disclosure, but rather waited patiently for our collective readiness to accept that we are not alone. Our star brothers and sisters come in love and peace to assist us with planetary ascension. This is how I know that my galactic family is here, now, right now, and they are here to help us all. Je sais que ma famille galactique est ici. Et vous? Io lo so que la mia famiglia galactica è qui. E tu? Lo sai? Hello, my name is Sierra Nablina, and I'm a braided walk-in. This means that I exist here on the planet both as a human being and as a galactic being. I initially came to this planet from a higher dimension to help human beings during this critical time in history. Then, in 2007, I suffered a massive stroke of which I died and was taken aboard ship and given the opportunity to work with a galactic being to help heal my body and to help me with my mission. I've spent years working aboard ship with our galactic family in hopes of bringing this simple yet profound message to you. Our galactic family is here and inviting us to join them on the galactic stage. We will continue to see an increase of sightings around the world, and that's their way to prepare us for first contact. They're showing us that we're here in peace by taking no other action but to make us aware of their presence. More and more people are seeing the beautiful aerial displays that they're putting on, and it's to let us know, hello, we're here, we'd love to meet you. Once it's apparent to them that we're looking to the skies and wanting to engage them, Things will move forward as they will not proceed until we are ready. But to do that, our culture has to rise above a fear-based society. We must move past all the conditioned fear responses and look toward the bright new future that's awaiting us all. Very soon, a new financial system, which as we speak is being created, will be introduced. It will give us all prosperity, abundance, a life of ease, freedom from poverty, disease, hunger, homelessness, and more. Governments and financial systems that become mired in corruption will be unable to stand against the increase of consciousness that will continue to rise over the last remaining months of this year. All traces of negativity, including corruption, will eventually disappear from the planet. To appreciate what lies in store for us, many of our existing beliefs will need to expand. Together, we'll move into an era in which all of us will regard ourselves equally as one people of the planet. We will move towards a future that is full of love, balance, and creative potential that is unimaginably more fulfilling than the one that we're experiencing right now. Disclosure is the opening to the door of this new wonderful future. The more people that are aware of disclosure, who realize its benefits, the smoother the transition will be from a planetary society to a galactic society. And so I can tell you from my experience, I know that my galactic family is here. Do you? 我知道我的銀行是家庭社這裡的你呢? And finally, I'm Stephen Cook. I've known about the existence of our galactic family ever since I was a little boy. I've seen dozens of spaceships and lightships travelling through the skies throughout my life. And I've even been lucky enough to have two very close-up encounters right here in Australia. And in fact, just prior to recording this video, I was out in my back garden here in Sydney and I saw the most beautiful white light starship right above my home and I realised then and there I know my galactic family is here. I know they're here and I know that they come in love and in peace 
And I want them to be able to join with us, with you and me, our friends, our family, our neighbours, and work together to build a world of calm and peace, a place we all deserve. For most of my life, I've worked in the media. I was a journalist and I was also the public relations manager and also media advisor for the Sydney Olympic Games. And through that, I know how the media works. I know how highly controlled the mainstream media is. And sadly, it's through this same blinkered media, this highly controlled media, a media that you and I have been asked to trust throughout our lives, that we've had to learn about the existence of our galactic family. But they haven't been telling us the truth. They've been telling us that they're aliens, that they've come to invade us. You know, TV, newspapers, radio, they all said the same thing. And they even make fun of people like you and I who know our galactic family is here. Think of all those, gosh, those alien invasion films, the ones that have tried to scare us with their plot lines, that they're all coming to get us. Well, let me tell you now, if they were coming to get us, I wouldn't still be here, you wouldn't still be here, in fact, none of us would still be here. We own our own media. We have YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Vimeo and Pinterest and a whole range of other social media outlets that we can now use to get that truth out to our friends, our family, our neighbours, our work colleagues. And it's through this social media that we can now share the news that our galactic family is here. And so today, we all ask you to join us at Inlight Radio to make your own personal disclosure. And by that I mean to tell your friends, your family, your neighbours, your work colleagues that you know our galactic family is here. And that's why we've made this video. It's free. It's here for you to share. So grab it and take it and send it out to all your friends via email on your Facebook page. Put it on Twitter. Put it on your website. Send it out to the world. And as you do, I ask you to ask all of them as I ask you now. I know, we know, our galactic family is here. Do you?